This is Gene Key, KTTT News. Good news for Skellytown residents. People living in Skellytown are no longer required to boil their water. The city of Skellytown announced that the water boil advisory was lifted as of noon Tuesday. They say the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality says the test results on the water have come back saying the water is safe. Last Thursday, the advisory was put in place after a water main broke. Church-appointed messengers of the Baptist General Convention of Texas voted Monday to slash funding for Baylor University by nearly $1 million. The move highlighted the first day of the convention's annual conference being held this year at the Amarillo Civic Center. The new agreement with Baylor reduces funding to $1.9 million from the $2.8 million the convention contributed this year, according to the spokeswoman Kathleen Warrington. Messengers cast their ballots to decide whether the Reverend Randall Wallace, First Baptist Church Colleen Pastor, or current convention vice president Jerry Carlisle will serve as the new convention president. The result will be announced at this afternoon's business session. USDA Farm Service Agency Executive Director Adam Acker announced yesterday that the Supplemental Revenue Assistance Payments Program, SURE, enrollment for 2010 crop year losses begins November 14th. According to Acker, producers across the state experienced severe natural disasters during the 2010 crop year that caused hardship and financial losses to many agricultural operations. To qualify for the SURE payment, the producer's operation must be located in a county that was declared a disaster for 2010. Moore County is included and have at least a 10% production loss that affects one crop of economic significance. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.